going to be doing health, safety and well-being. Kia ora koutou. Uh, thank you, Chair, uh, and uh, do appreciate the focus on well-being for councillors. Appreciate that. Uh, so the purpose of this report is to provide an update on health, safety and well-being activity. Uh, again, this is to ensure that uh, councillors and the Mayor as officers of the PCBU are kept up to date on matters of health and safety at work. So uh, I will take the report as read as usual and highlight a couple of uh, key points. Uh, one is in the dashboard there is a reference to the number of overdue actions that uh, have spiked. If you've seen the dashboard, you will have seen it went from uh, approximately 20% uh, to 72% um, uh, in a month's uh, reporting period. Uh, that is mainly due to the impact of the end of financial year and the number of actions that were assigned for that point. I will note that since the writing of this report, that number has come down significantly as we've worked to close out actions. Uh, so while it is on the dashboard, it is under control. Uh, we are monitoring that one closely, though, to ensure that actions that have come out of the investigation of incidents are being completed. A uh, second point I would note is uh, in point 24, that violence and aggression does seem to be uh, continuing to be the predominant risk type associated with the incidents that our staff face. We had 159 reported incidents over the period of June and July. Uh, interestingly, when looking at a longer term review of those uh, statistics, it does appear to be downwards uh, over the past year. However, I do recommend that that number is taken with a, a grain of salt as uh, there are a number of reasons why that might be the case. We are analysing those to understand that better. Uh, but it is important to note that it is still by far the single biggest cause of incidents that are happening across uh, Auckland Council. The uh, third point I did want to raise was um, a win uh, in that uh, while we've been working very closely with our health and safety representatives across Auckland Council uh, in our uh, worker engagement, participation and representation work, uh, we were awarded uh, um, the engagement category at the recent New Zealand Health and Safety Awards, which um, is pleasing to see that the work we've been doing to engage with our kaimahi on safety and wellbeing is paying off. Apart from that, I'm happy to take any questions or, um, or thoughts. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. There are no questions at this stage. That was referred to us by the Audit and Risk Councillor Committee. Councillor oh, Councillor Holt, my Holt, apology. Thanks, Mayor. And just, yeah, thank you for this and the work uh, you're all doing. Just post the budget. Um, are we still seeing good supports um, budget? There wasn't, um, we don't see that deeply to see if there are any budget reductions in the in safety and wellbeing place. I assume not. But is there good support around staff? I know there's still a lot of change I see from the, the um, incidents. Obviously, the stress-related cases are going up and redundancy concerns are going up. So just maybe from yourself or Phil, if, if, are we guaranteed that that support and that funding is still there for staff to access? Well, I, I can confirm the, the funding, the support, the, the sort of leadership team commitment to this is very robust, but Paul? Yeah, thank you, uh, and through the Chair. Uh, it, it is a good question and it is something that uh, when budgetary constraints are placed on us, we can lose uh, the capacity to support certain activities. In this case, we have maintained a high level of support around health, safety and well-being. We have reallocated some FTE within my department to be able to support pastoral care uh, to ensure that there is mental health uh, specialisation within the team to support an escalation in mental health concerns. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. That's um, reassuring. The other thing, just um, through, through the LCP, um, there will be probably more calls for uh, staff to do more work and, and fewer staff and funding issues, will we, will we be keeping staff as as involved as possible in, to give them long lead out of those sorts of discussions and decisions so they're not shocked by a news story or, or things that kind of pop up through this process? I know it can be quite a fast-moving situation. Yeah, we'll, we will keep a, um, a dialogue through the organisation about impacts and so on, we'll certainly be involving staff in any decisions, you know, obviously um, the decisions that we are making, the proposals we're putting forward um, will typically be socialised with staff and other stakeholders such as um, the PSA and other, other unions. 
Yeah, so we'll be we'll be keeping a close eye on that. There's a strong message in the organisation around um, that goes to workload around prioritising. You know. Thank you very much for that. Um, I move in a seconder, please, for the receipt of this excellent report. Please, um, Hills and Sayers. All those in favour? Please say aye. Contrary, thank you. Well done, Paul. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, 